Hello and welcome to the program. I am Deji Badimosi. The spate of unknown gunmen violence in Nigeria has now reached an alarming point to the extent that these so-called bandits have the boldness to attack the country's prestigious military university, the Nigeria Defense Academy, NDA. The assailants stormed the permanent site of the NDA in Afaka, Kaduna State, that's northwest Nigeria, not far from of course, the Federal College of Forestry Mechanization, where about 39 students were abducted in July, killing two officers while another, another officer now was kidnapped. NDA authorities said that uh, the gunmen actually compromised uh, its security architecture and gained access into the residential area within the academy. Now, this particular attack is rather shocking and has raised puzzling questions about who these gunmen are and how they could have successfully infiltrated a military formation to kill officers. Joining me on the program right now to discuss this further is uh, retired Colonel Hassan Stanlabo, who is also a security consultant. Thank you very much sir, for coming on the program once again. Thank you, Deji. Um, <coughs> you obviously passed through that institution. And um, what were your feelings when you got this story? Very disturbing, I would say. And... Um you know, this, this, this feeling of disappointment that um, these guys could go to this extent. The Defense Academy is a place where we all pass through as officers, and in most cases we, we, we hold mm. it with so much. When we discuss the Academy, we discuss it with a lot of passion and emotions because we know what we went through. You know, uh, it's a place that made you whatever you are today as an officer. Uh, it's unfortunate that it happened, and... Um, really is I, I, quite embarrassing really, to How surprised are you that it could happen? Because this is something um, not many persons contemplated, but uh, not impossible that it could happen anyway. Because, uh, you know, once, once in a while, we, we've, we've seen this kind of incident, even uh, reported now in, in some other places, I mean, even in the developed world. But, but this shocking never happened here before. Yeah. Uh, shocking because I would say... To an extent, we never contemplated such a thing could take place. But then, frankly speaking, and being very objective, if we sit down to do a review of the entire security architecture that is in place and so on, um, there was somebody, or there is this Commodore Kunle who talked about the Friday prayers where gates are thrown, mm, open, thrown open for, you know, people to come, come in and go to the mosque for their prayers. And That's so a possibility, on. Yes, uh, of course, for people and to be in. Frankly speaking, not until when he mentioned it, it dawned on me that truly That's this really happens. It really happens, and that is a window that could be exploited. When General Kunle or Commander Kunle was saying it, frankly, it just dawned on me that, wow, it's true. And it is really true with nearly every military establishment. All the units have served. On Fridays, we throw open the gates for our neighbors to come in and, you know, utilize the mosque for prayers. You see, maybe being because it's a religious issue, we all just say, look, let people go and pray. I mean, don't deprive people from but using the access. No. But then... Given the present security thank situation... Thank you, yes. thank you, thank you, Deji. Given the present situation, frankly, I expect that nearly every commander everywhere We'll stop that. But now you look at, let, let's look at this operation itself, where it happened. Uh, the, the officer's quarters, of course, it's, it's very far away from, from uh, the center of gravity of the NDA itself, Qu quite far away, uh, close to, uh, of course, um, it's, it's far removed. Where it is uh, appears, even though it's within the NDA, it's, it's, um, it's a bit remote within the NDA community. Uh, and what is actually surprising is that... Um, you look at the way they went to five flats. That's what we've been told, and we've seen pictures. They went to five flats. We've seen where burglaries were, were broken open, doors were broken open, and all of that. So they must have taken their time to do this. It's so not a job that was planned. In yeah. The so and and <clears throat> what I'm asking is, is there also, uh, as some people have expressed that suspicion, that uh, there could be some co collaborators from within? We cannot outrule that under the present situation in which we find ourselves. Frankly, they do. we cannot outdo that. But, Frankly but, speaking. And, and another yeah. thing, okay, go on, go on. Yeah, because um, look, for anybody to succeed in, go to this extent, measuring up to this extent, which these guys went, they took quite some time. If they were exploiting the Friday window, that this prayer window, they must have really 
come in once, twice, thrice, four times. And they must have gone far. Done their the master plan but, and then but, eat at it. And then another thing I want to ask is, is it not supposed to be the tradition that you provide security, even even though it's yes, it's it's a security, um, it's a security architecture, so to speak. I'm, I'm talking about the NDA now. But for officers' quarters, are you not supposed to have, uh, for instance, is it sentry? You call you call them now. Are you not supposed to have guards at at uh, army officers' quarters now? You know, so, some soldiers posted there uh, uh, for for guard service. Soldiers are posted to those who are entitled to guard services, such as maybe the house of the commandant, if it's just an ordinary unit, the commander or the CEO and so on. Okay, some of the key the, appointments. Because the, the reason I'm asking you this is because yeah. th there was no reaction. Uh, if, if you had had, if, if there were soldiers standing guard there at that time, you know, protecting uh, that, that area, you probably would have had some kind of reaction. So those who carried out the attack knew there were no there were no soldiers guarding uh, the officers' quarters. DG, every military complex of formation or barrack or whatever is expected to be like a fortress, okay? Well fenced, well protected, and so on. I'm talking about perimeter protection well, now. This is not well now, fenced. I mean, just the main wide. gate, of course. You, you can't just gain entrance yeah. through the main gate. I mean, you and go to of course. All I mean, sorts you, of you look at that. Look at the barbed wire there, yeah. and, and yeah. you know, it's, good. That's, uh, that seems to me to be very porous. So they, they just it's just what I want to say. I mean, even this, I, I, I would rather, you know, uh, opt for a walled fence than all this. Okay? Now, when you get inside, when, in, when you find a well walled... And you look at that location, it appears to be a bit remote. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. The present location of the Defense Academy, I hope you know, they are now on the permanent, permanent site. Permanent site, yes. Which is quite a gigantic, huge, big, spaced out location to give room for enough expansion hope you know it's co-located with the university too yes uh -huh, because the academy itself now is a university so you must have enough room for expansion of faculties mm. and so on so it's such a big large area okay however the developed part of it i want to believe the commandant's residence of course will have its Yes. Uh, uh, Normally, you know, yes. Yes. We uh, have guards, number of guards and other key appointments, be it whether the provost or whatever mm. and so on. After that, uh, let me say the other lower officers or officers who are not entitled to such guards, of course, you don't need to have because the entire environment itself is safe or assumed to be safe, safe like it is in every other unit. Not until I became, say, uh, anything. To, to, to be, to, to, oh, I mean, uh, a, a senior officer, I was not entitled to get. All along as a bloody lieutenant captain major, I enjoyed my life without that. Be, be, because, I mean, from, 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 from my own ob observation, it, it would appear that area is remote. Those officers, yeah. for instance, who were killed, there must have been gunshots. People ought to have had gunshots and all of that. And then um, you, you ought to have, we ought to have seen a very, very rapid, quick response. Reaction. You know, and, and not even give... Uh, the bandits now any opportunity to go away with one of the officers but but that then happened so i'm just trying to make sense of all of this i agree with you some of us actually asked some of these questions because frankly speaking um except if when the guy was being shot he had been taken far 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 beyond earshot maybe uh what's it called now otherwise with the shooting there that would would have been enough to probably attract attract exactly. good and then for all those louvers or windows, whatever, broken. being broken and so on, it never and drew those, the attention those are not, of somebody. those are not just wooden doors. Yes, yes. And the, 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 the academy, the, 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 the new site is a solid structure. It's a solid construction. It's not just any... It's, just, it's a solid construction. When you go there, you'll be impressed as a Nigerian. And, wow, you mean contractors can build this? It's a fantastic place. Why, why do you think this attack would have been carried out? I mean, you look look at that picture. Look at the chief of defense staff taking a look at the door. They, yeah. they must have hit that door very hard. Mm. And, of course, at the time they struck, the noise would have gone very far. But I think the whole idea was to embarrass the military. Because this, this could not frank. have been just to go and kidnap people for ransom. Yeah, the whole idea must have been to embarrass the military. And I must add this. I must add this, uh, the Deji. You see, uh, with the way things are going, a good number of us believe that, look, there are individuals, even in government, who know what is happening. 
it's gotten to a point where I think certain lines of actions are even deliberate. Looking at the entire gamut of the banditry thing and even our labeling concept and whatever. But, how, what have but you, the question okay? is, how does that excuse this seeming failure on the, the part of the security, the security agencies? Because this, this, this is obviously a clear failure yeah, on, sure. on the part of the security yes. agencies. The response so, was poor. Yeah, yeah, was exactly. Any. I mean, this is yeah. a clear failure. If, yeah. if um, people could just come into your place and, and attack Secure, like then. Besides, more so when something like this had happened with that uh, yeah, forestry. Forest, uh, yes, College of Forestry. College of Forestry, thank you. Which is quite close. They are all within the same general vicinity, Africa vicinity. With something like that having happened there, I expected that here would have just tightened up. So obviously in this case, uh, we just might be looking at, at, at a situation where some people obviously dropped their guards and, you know, probably didn't, didn't, didn't play their roles effectively, so to speak. And that, that's the reason why you would have all of this, because you would imagine that with what is happening in Kaduna State and what is happening even close to the NDA there, because we've, we've actually, as you've said, the College of Forest Mechanization is very close Just by. close by. Then you would expect that uh, extra measures ought to would be Would have been taken. put in place. And uh, other than that, we, we've, we've seen also in this country, in the Northeast, where military formations of course were overrun by, ban uh, by yes. uh, Boko yes. Haram and all of that so you would expect so it's not the that first extra time that would have been taken so this this is obviously okay. it's not the first time that we we'll say that uh, these guys are actually tampering with military formations and these are supposed to be hard targets very hard targets hard targets these are not soft targets how come somebody, a military institution some, more so the defense academy somebody has to take it's the embarrassing blame somebody has to take the blame it's, for this it's embarrassing it's uh it's, it's difficult to excuse this yes very very very, very, difficult. very very frankly Fair but in, 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 in a in a in a situation heads never roll anyway so nothing will happen and in, in and, most and and uh, some somehow uh the the, the you know how quickly they are able to get to the bottom of this and and arrest the people involved would would uh, would, would make a whole world of difference because if not um <laughs> you could have a situation where confidence in the military could begin to get eroded i just don't pray it gets to that well but frankly yeah, speaking but, but there's every need to get to the heart of this and arrest those who are responsible Unfortunately, like I'll keep saying, because we belong to a system now, where what you are saying mm, never happens. Because as, as we speak now, there's an officer who's still been held. Yes. 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 My, 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 my disappointment is informed by recent developments. I mean, you recall there was a time the Attorney General, I think this gentleman even spoke about it, uh, Komodo Kule. There was a time when the Attorney General talked about some guys who were sponsoring all these things. And that they, 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 they had their names, they were yeah. going to they assemble they're, them. They're planning, they're what planning, has happened? They're planning, to try, they're planning to try them. They're still when? putting modalities in place and all of that. But of course, I mean, no, 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 no doubt. I mean, they, they need to speed that up. No, no question at all. But then... But we are being made to understand those guys are already suing for illegal detention. They're suing for illegal detention. They're already suing well. for illegal detention. And probably like that same article I read... Well, was talking about the possibility. If, 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 they're, if they're suing for illegal detention, they actually have the right because you just can't keep people in debt. That's what I'm saying. For how long for will how you long? keep them? Exactly. For how long? Anyway, thank you very much, uh, <laughs> sir, for coming on the program and for sharing your thoughts with us. And uh, let's just hope uh, the military is able to deal with this decisively we'll and uh, conclusively, so yes. to speak. We'll A panel has been we'll set up. We're waiting to see what that panel will come forward with. Mm. Thank you very much for coming on the I program and sharing you. your thoughts I with us. We'll take a short break now and we'll be right back. Opinions are free. Facts are sacred. The truth is universal. How in practical terms? Can we, for instance, de-escalate the tension? President must see himself as the president of the Federal Republic. We know where the enemy is. Three places. Um, the Lake Chad Basin, the border area between Nigeria and Cameroon, and then the Sambisa Forest. On DG360, we give you a complete dose of everything. Opinion, facts, and undiluted truths. I hardly believe what politicians are saying in this uh, part of the world. The new Nigeria is possible, a future is possible. We delve into the issues, dissect it, it so that you can understand it, use it to take action. I don't think there's any need for go any governor to look for grant for ranching. Digi360, 
dissecting the issues.